Hello, this is Katie and today's tutorial is based on working with a cabochon, but a cabochon which is drilled so that one that's actually got a drill hole. I hope you can see that there. So when you're working with a cabochon that is drilled and you want to utilise that hole, you don't have to use it. You could just use it as it is and just make sure you cover the hole somehow. But um, if you want to utilise that hole and make it so it's naturally anchored, so that you're not actually surrounding the cabochon as well, so you can see all the beauty of that cabochon, you can use that hole and do a little weave and create this little bale section for it. And you can make this, I've made this quite big, you can make it smaller, it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna show you the technique that I used on this one here. So a little note just at the beginning, I'll pop another note on at the end. Um, everything that I'm using here, apart from the 0.4 millimeter wire, um, is taken from the Relax and Craft subscription box. This one is October, it's absolutely beautiful, well worth it and very, very good look at the flash on that moonstone. Absolutely beautiful. Also, these came from the box as well. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for at least one of those as well. So from the box, I got some 0.8mm wire. Now your 0.8 is your 20 gauge in US terms. And I've got three lengths of my 0.8 or 20 gauge. Um, millimeter wire that's round wire and these are all about five inches long so five inches is about 14 centimeters approximately and then I've taken a length of um, 0.4 millimeters which is your 26 gauge and this is about oh I forgot to measure this one bear with me a second so this is about about 40 centimeters approximately so i will pop that in on inches it's actually probably about 50 centimeters we're only going to use 40 centimeters but i've cut it anyway so we will leave that i'll pop that on the screen in inches for you as well so what we're going to do is we're just going to create this wrap and then we're going to utilize the ends to anchor that through that drill hole and just create this nice little design just so it's nice and neat and tidy Right, so this will also work on anything that's like a point, so any pear shape, marquee shape that's got the drill hole, anything that's round it will work in. But also if you've got something square or something, a rectangle, it will also work on that. You'll just need to work over the top rather than down the sides. It's absolutely fine. It will work both ways. So I'm going to do this little fancy wrap that um, I do have a full tutorial for it. Um, I will link it in the description before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that length of the 0 0.4 26 gauge wire and I'm going to fold it in half just so that it pings together. And then we can just pull that, not too tight, but just so it forms a loop. Let's move those out of the way for a second. Then we're going to pick up one of our wires. We're going to pop our wire through that loop. So popping it through the loop, tighten it on there. And what we want to be working on is this middle section. So in fact, let's just move those out of the way so we focus a little bit better. There we go. So we're going to be working on that middle section and you just want to make sure your loop is nice and neat and tidy around there. So you should be able to feel your loop on the top and you're going to have a working wire at each side of it. So you're going to be working with two working wires. Don't worry, this is a very, very easy, basic beginner's weave. Then we're going to pick up our other two wires and we're going to pop it, eat one at each side, level them up. So when we're looking at it, we're going to have three wires and one is going to have that wrap on the top there. And both of our wires are coming from underneath. Then we can take hold of those three wires with my um, left handed, uh, right handed, sorry. And I'm holding that with my left hand. And I'm going to start with the wire that's furthest away from me. I'm going to bring that over. And then I'm going to put it down between those bottom two wires. So wrapped over that top wire. And then I'm going to bring it out, up and across and down. And then down again. So I've wrapped over those first two, those top two wires twice. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same with the other side. And just notice when I'm actually taking this across, I'm not just kind of going like this and wrapping it round because that's going to create that angle there 
What I'm actually doing is taking it all the way across, then bringing it down, pushing it all the way across, back underneath towards myself, all the way over the top. So what I'm doing is I'm telling it the direction I want it to go before I actually take it through in between the wires. And that will help so much with your wire wrapping if you just take the time to tell the wire where you want it to go first. So we've got two wraps on the top two wires and then we've just done two wraps on the bottom two wires. And we're just going to continue this until we get about, so about two and a half, three centimetres. We don't want a very big bale. And we're just going to continue wrapping all the way until we've got that length. So over to, if you like I say, if you want a bit more in-depth detail on this technique, this little wire wrapping technique, there is a video linked below for you to take a look at. It is one of my older videos. I will redo it actually at some point. So the focus isn't as, as good as it could be, but it is watchable. So I'm just going to continue doing that until I've got the length that I want. And I'll join you back when I've got about two and a half, three centimetres in that central part of our base wires. So once you've finished your weave and you've got to this stage where I've got about three centimetres, you can get to about two and a half, three centimetres for an average sized cabochon. What you need to do is finish your wires. So both of your wires will still be on the underneath and we're going to finish our wires on this central wire. So you can just splay them out a little bit just to give you a bit of room. So we'll do the top wire. You can do the top or the bottom one first. It's entirely up to you. But we're just going to bring that up in this gap here. And just give it a couple of wraps around that central wire and then we're just going to snip that off so snip it off nice and close make sure that if there's any end to that it is squished down nicely and then we're going to give use the other wire again up at this side this time and a couple of wraps around that central wire so everything's finished off on that central wire and again just two wraps and then snip off nice and flush cut so the flush cut side of your pliers is this side the flat side of your pliers so that needs to be closest to your work and just make sure any ends are nicely squished in so this is going to be where we cut them off that's going to be on the inside and also the ones where we finished off they're going to sit at the back so this is the front here so what we need to do is just splay these out a little bit so we're working on the front so where we started our weave the end is back here so working on the front we've just splayed those out and we can just start just so we know which sides which to start that bend in the bale not too much at the moment now this central wire is the one that's going to go through the cabochon so we need to push that back nice and neat so it's pushed back towards the center of where our cabochon is going to sit and then we can pop our cabochon on like so and we know that it's it fits through we know that it's in the right position now don't worry it's going to be moving around a lot right until the very end. Don't worry, that's not a problem. As long as when you do any measuring, cutting, you've got everything centralised, that's absolutely fine. So just for a moment, we're just going to go come to the back again. We've popped that wire through, making sure it's nice and tight, as sque well squeezed into the cabochon as, poss as possible. And then we're just going to push that all the way down like so. Now we're going to finish off this wire. We're just going to do what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's nice and straight. So make sure that the actual bale is coming out straight, holding that from the opposite side. And I'm just going to take that out to one side, either away or towards yourself, just so it's at kind of at a 45 degree, degree angle to that. And I'm going to cut this to about a centimetre and a half, about sort of three quarters of an inch sort of thing. And then I'm going to do a little wrap, a little loop, like a spiral back towards. So I'm just supporting and holding everything. I'm going to take the end of that wire with my pliers and just start turning. I'm turning back towards the drill hole. I'm going to turn that as far as I can. And then I'm just going to snip off the end 
that's going to stop you from having a very flat end to that spiral. It's going to keep it nice and um, rounded. And we're just going to start using our round nose pliers just to pull that in and start spiraling that around. And then when you can't go anymore with your round nose pliers, you're going to switch over, grab your chain nose pliers and just a little bit of a time to put in your pliers all the way across, building that up, and pushing that in just so that we've got that secure. Obviously, this isn't going to not very good at the moment because we've not created a bale, but we've got that actual brace across through that drill hole secure and in place. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to sort of start creating that bale. Now, what you might want to do, just so it sits a little bit nicer, is hold where we just made that spiral, pop your thumb on there, hold right at the front there where it goes through and just push that forwards and then start shaping it. It'll just give it it's just a slightly nicer shape like so, because we want it to kind of bump out more towards the front so that when it's actually sat on the decolletage or your neckline, it will sit a lot nicer. So it sits more slightly forwards, if you can see that there. OK, so looking at the front, we're just going to make sure they're splayed out quite nicely, like so, just catching the edges like so. And then we're just going to turn this over and splay out the ones at the back. So the central one's going to come down the centre and these are going to come out to the sides. OK, so what we want to do now is we want to cut these front pieces. Now we do want them to be quite short. They want to be no more than a centimetre each. We can make little adjustments at the very end and take them a bit shorter if we need to. But we're just going to cut those nice and short, around about a centimetre each. So just making sure we cut everything. That one was a little bit short. Never mind. It'll be fine. That's probably about right, actually, once we've made adjustments. So now we've got somewhere to anchor our wires onto. So now we've cut those front pieces, we're going to bring these over. So we want to try and make sure our cabochon stays nice and central so that it's going to sit with the bale nice and central. And we want to bring this wire or this one, if you want to do that one first, um, over the shoulder of the cabochon. So the shoulder of the cabochon here. Now, we don't want it to come too close to the top because we want it to brace it a little bit and then we can just lay it across the front. OK, so it's made this shape. It's going to look a little bit odd to start with. OK, now that wire, I only want it to come over the wire that it's coming across only a very small amount because I want to kind of bend that and anchor it around. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do one side at a time. I'm going to cut this and it's going to be quite short. So can you see it's only a few millimetres over that wire? Like so. OK, now holding everything. So I'm just keeping everything in place by holding the back. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and just turn the end of this wire. So we want to be right on the tip of it and I want to turn it and I'm turning it towards the cabochon. So we're just going to leave it at that for a minute and then we're going to do the other side and then we can make lots of little adjustments at the end. So you might want to turn it around for if it's more comfortable and bring this over. Just work around whichever way feels more comfortable to you. But we, what we want is matching sides. So just make any adjustments you need to. You can see we've got that nice gap here, nice gap at the opposite side. And again, I'm going to make that same cut. So just a few millimetres over that uh, the wire that's coming across, like so. And then again, I'm going to use my round nose pliers. So I'm going to get the cabochon in a position that's comfortable for my for my, my hands. Don't always go with exactly what I'm doing with my hands, because sometimes you might think, oh, that feels really awkward. Go with what feels good for you. And then you, the more comfortable you are, the better your work will be. And again, we're just turning that towards the cabochon. OK, now, if you've got the really nice fine nose pliers, you can actually get your 
pliers in there and right at the tip really pull those in so right at the tip again and really pull those in so you can see we've actually grabbed that little piece of wire so now what we need to do is finish off these ends here and we do that by using our round nose pliers Remember, don't push against the gemstone. You're just holding the wire. We don't want to be scratching the stone, especially if you've got a very soft stone. And then we're just going to turn the wire up towards the bale, like so. So we've got that little sort of loop coming back on itself. They're all kind of catching in with each other and it's just holding and securing. Again, just pull that back. And there we go, we've got the front all set in. Now all we need to do now, you'll find your cabochon won't move around as much now. And all we need to do now is finish this. Now we're gonna put another spiral on top of here. Remember when we, when we made the first spiral, we pushed away to this side. So we're gonna do it the opposite way this time. So we're gonna push it away to the opposite side. I want this spiral to be slightly bigger. So I'm gonna cut my wire just slightly more just so that it, it sits nicely with the, the opposite spiral. And again, I'm gonna pop my, my pliers right in, so my round nose pliers right at the end, start turning. And again, I'm just gonna pick up my flush cutters and using the flush side of my pliers, just gonna snip off that end just so that we're on a nice round to begin with. And that way you will get a really nice spiral. If you want to know more about making spirals, making bigger spirals, there is a video available on my channel. Just check it out. Make sure you have liked and subscribed. Like this video, subscribe. You won't miss any of my videos then. You'll get a little notification, especially if you click that all button. So bringing that in and all the way up. If, ever, if you ever want to really press against something, you can always use... The handle of your pliers is usually quite soft, so you can push it in using that. And there we go. That is my cabochon all set, nice and safe, nice and secure. And just make any adjustments you, you want to, if you need to. If you want to just pull that in a little bit more, you can do. But that will just grip on nicely and it gives you a really nice, simple bale, not too fussy and really nice and easy to wear. You can put any chain or beading through that it'll be beautiful so thank you very very much for watching don't forget everything that i've used today is from the relax and craft subscription box there's a few more things from the box here and you get so much in the box so so much there's so much um findings i'll just show you some of the things so i've still got all of this bumblebee jasper left and i've got another piece made that i'm not showing you at the moment but look at the flash on that labradorite there's also a labradorite cabochon so many findings so so many findings. no that was like a really flash against the light but so many findings chains clots all sorts of things every everything that you can see here the only thing I've added for today's tutorial was the 0.4 millimeter 20 gauge, um, sorry, 26 gauge wire. And everything else was literally from the box. Every month is different. So if you are if you were to subscribe now, you wouldn't get this particular box. But what I do is I get the box and I usually make it some extra tutorials for you. But when you do get the box, you get lots and lots of tutorials, lots and lots of insights into... Um, what you can do with the box and something different every month so it's nice to sort of stretch your expertise and see you know what new medium the previous months we've had kumihima we've had a viking knit it's been fantastic it's a really good value box and you get a whole community of new friends to in um converse with too because there's a, be a fantastic facebook group um fleur the lady that runs it is um she does lives it's absolutely fantastic so if you want to subscribe or just interested click the link below and you will um go through to um the relax and craft website also just a little mention this particular box was um made in 
what's the word i've forgotten the word in conjunction is that does all that do in conjunction with charmers gems so charmers gems is a gemstone um supplier that um supplied all the gemstones for this box which are absolutely amazing quality ethically ethically sourced gemstones so we'll tag charmers gems underneath this video too if you're ever interested in purchasing gemstones loose gemstones um cabochons beads you name it she can get it and if she hasn't got it she will try and find it for you uh, that's marie at charmers gems so take care i will see you again soon and don't forget to click that subscribe button bye